All right, so far, I have four final frames. And I'm setting up my assets for the fifth frame. So I've moved my creature, but now I want to continue to play with its hue saturation. It's my way of kind of hardening the creature. So I'm just going to push it. I did a plus 10 last time. I'll do plus 15 this time, moving it a little bit faster. I took the saturation down by 10 last time. I'm going to take it down by 15 this time. I'm going to play with the shadow. Move it by five. So it flickers, changes a little bit. I'm going to move the clouds. Hmm. There we go. Move them back to my next mark for that panning shot. I'm going to increase to 20. Cloud fill here. It's focusing more and more on the creature that way. And then I'm going to hold down Option, say Layer, Merge Visible. Select all, edit, copy, go to my stage file and say edit, paste. I'll bring in my next layer on top. And so I can already kind of check my animation. It goes one, two, three, four, five. And I'm almost <laughs> to the first frame of my sketch or my second keyframe. Almost there. Thinking two more, I'll, I'll be there. So I'm, this is a, a slow introduction to it, so you can really pay attention to the creature. And I'm doing that because I determined that it just moves too fast if I do everything equally. So I need to set it up a little bit more slowly, get the audience used to this creature before I make that dramatic change where a crack runs through it and it opens up. So I'll play with the shadow. I'll start flickering it back down. I can duplicate the creature. Turn the layer behind it off. Play with Puppet Warp. I'm going to move the knees a little bit this time. Keep stretching the head back, tuck the tail down a little bit more. And maybe I'll do another round of that just so it moves a little faster. So puppet warp. Sometimes you can do it in stages. There we go. It can feel a little scary to move so much all at once otherwise. And then because I didn't pin the feet, I need to just nudge it so the feet pretty much line up with where they were. All right. Now I'm going to play with the color a little bit more aggressively. Hue saturation. Let's go to 20. I'm going to, let's see. Take the saturation down by 15. 
See that change in color happening? I'm gonna move the clouds. Keep it going. Increase the opacity of the texture fill. Let's do it by 30 this time. Go to the top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Edit, or select rather, All. Edit, Copy. Go to my stage, Edit, Paste. You can use the shortcuts. I'm not using the shortcuts because it stops my recording because <laughs> it thinks I'm typing something. And you can see I have a much bigger jump there because now that I've gotten the, the audience used to knowing what to look for, now I can start changing it more abruptly. So I hit, hit, hit Command S to save it. Command D to deselect, delete that merge layer. Start playing again. All these features. So puppet warp. This might be the last time I puppet warp it before it's frozen solid and it turns into a, an egg shell. Maybe one more, I don't know, but I'm trying to get that head kind of up so that there's enough room for another creature inside it. Remember to pin the feet this time. Drop the knees a little bit. See if that's extreme enough. It is, but I'm also going to just grow the creature a little bit. Like that. And now some extreme coloring. Hue saturation, the most extreme. We'll push it to 30. Saturation down to 15. Now obviously, something is going on with this creature, right? And I can start a layer style. So I'm going to double click on the creature. And I'm going to start, let's see, an outer glow. Let's see how that looks. And spread it out. Fifty pixels, fifty one. Let's do it at thirty three percent, maybe twenty five. So that will show it's really finishing up. I'm going to move the clouds a little bit more. I'm going to increase the opacity of the fill clouds by just about, well, let's do seven. Go to the top. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Let's try the shortcuts. Command A, so select all. Command C to copy. Command V to paste. And now I'm seeing this as my second keyframe. So I have seven panels, seven frames, or five frames that fit between my first keyframe and my second keyframe. And sure enough, if I just moved from this to this, that would be too extreme. So that's why I need those in-betweens. 
so that instead the animation runs like this. All right, save that, deselect, delete that layer, merge, duplicate. Now you see the effects move with it, and I can make the effects a little bit more opaque. Let's go to 50%. And then let's play with the shadow. And then let's play with the pose. Oh, I'm not going to play with the pose anymore. That's nice. Instead, let's start adding some other effects to make it look even harder. So let's play with some of these other things. I can do a satin overlay. I can do an inner glow. I can do an inner shadow. Inner shadow might be nice. Let's play with this. Feel like it's kind of hardening. Uh, what else? Let's see. I can play with its color overall. I can give it a gradient overlay. Let's choose a gradient on the basics gradient. Ooh, look at all these new gradients in this new version of Photoshop. Very nice. Something like this. I'll reverse it. Then I'll take its opacity way down. I want to give it a little bit of graininess. That's a little too much. Very subtle. I'll do it at only 15. All right, so from this to this is a pretty big jump. So let's take down that inner shadow a little bit. So that's something I can build over time as the egg starts to crack. Okay. The shadow is now locked in. It shouldn't change because the creature is not moving anymore. But the background is still going to move. I just go a little bit further. And I'll keep brightening the background here. And now I want to introduce a little crack into the creature. So what I'm going to do is I'm, for the first time, I'm going to create my own pixels in the finished piece. So I'm not compositing a crack from anything. I'm just going to draw it. I'm going to make it a nice dark gray. And maybe I'll do it on a new layer. I'm using my tablet. It's pressure sensitive. I'm going to just draw the crack all the way through like that. I can thicken it in some places. It's at 85% opacity. Just like I would with an inking pen, I can thicken it out. And because I have it on its own layer, I can even give it a little bit of a glow to help that crack stand out. Let's try the outer glow. There we go. I'm going to give it some noise, a little graininess. 